Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be checking out a video called Bone Air Sea Salt Harvest. And it's because I did a community tab post uh, a few hours ago as of time of recording, right? And it was, uh, it was just like a little fun fact that I've been doing. So if you haven't heard about my fun facts that I've been doing, go check out my community tab. But anyways, did you know that Australia is home to a pink lake called Lake Hillier, right? So there's a picture of a pink lake and it talks about how the algae makes it pink and this and that. And I got a comment from a guy named Santiago Alvarez. So shout out to you, Santiago. Um, he said, hey, Charlie, check out the bone air salt mine. Uh, thought it'd be interesting for you because bone air is part of the Dutch kingdom. So if you haven't been familiar with my channel, you're just, you know, showing up or whatever. I've been doing a lot of stuff about the Netherlands and, and stuff like that. So uh, we're going to check this out. It's one of the Dutch Caribbean islands. And I guess it's bone air salt mine. So I found this video called the bone air sea salt harvest and it's by the channel called go informed. So make sure you go check out their channel, show them some love, go hit like, hit subscribe and all that good stuff. We're going to jump into the video and check it out. It's a lot of salt. Located off Venezuela's coast in the Caribbean Sea, the island of Bonaire is one of the world's only solar salt production sites. The southern end of the island is dotted with shallow saltwater ponds. Okay. The ponds attract wild Caribbean flamingos. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean, right? I don't know which way to pronounce it, I, I do both. Up to 3,000 breeding pairs of flamingos visit the Peclamere Sanctuary, located within the ponds every year. Bonaire's pristine waters make it a scuba and snorkeling paradise, guys. I bet, too. Uh, just across the road from the beach, you'll find the salt ponds, okay. Oh, there that, yep. So all the salt just dries up and accumulates next to the ocean, huh? Or are they making, maybe, okay, yeah, I was getting ready to say, are they making them like that? And then of course it says right here, seawater's pumped into the ponds, then the sun slowly evaporates it. Okay, yeah, so they're bringing it all in from the ocean and then they're just letting it evaporate off and that's it? And then you're left with the salt? Do they clean it, process it anyway? I bet they do, they probably re-water it with fresh water, let it evaporate again, rinse it off maybe, I don't know. Oh, and it turns from clear to pink. That's why Santiago commented that then. Yeah, that's why he commented that because the it was it was about the pink pond or pink lake in Australia community post I put up. Yeah, so it must have reminded him of this because the water turns pink. But yeah, so it says the white stuff isn't snow; it's salt, which I assumed it was salt. I didn't think it was snow. Especially with it being in the Caribbean, right? Once the water is completely evaporated, it's time for the harvest. It looks like some pretty clean salt though, so I don't know. We're, each pond's harvested about once a year. What happens to the dead fish germs and the nastiness from the water? Right. A special machine slowly scrapes the bottom of the seabed. The sea salt moves up to a conveyor to a waiting dump truck. Mm, excuse me. Each truck can hold enough salt to fill 1.5 million salt shakers. Holy cow. My earbud fell out of my ear just randomly. I hate these things. They block out too much background noise too. It's like, I can't hear anything in the room now. Which is great if that's what you want, but I don't want that, right? The process looks a lot like plowing snow, it says, which, not really. That's not how they plow snow here. But the average temperature in bone air is between 76 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit. I was getting ready to look it up and put it in Celsius for you guys, but it already did. So that's about 24 
to 31 degrees Celsius, it says. That's crazy. The lowest temperature ever recorded on bone air is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. That's not cold at all. 20 degrees Celsius, it says. What's this music? It's like an 80s action movie. <laughs> what is that? It is, right? It's like an 80s action movie. Did you know that flamingos aren't born pink? Yeah, I did actually know that. Somebody else commented on that post about flamingos. The same thing that makes the ponds pink also turns the flamingos pink. Yeah, somebody else commented on that post. Um, let me see. Yeah, Sonny uh, Wissink. Sonny Wissink said uh, that he's pretty sure flamingos turn pink from eating the same kind of algae that's in that pond in Australia, which is a uh, kind of algae called Dunealia selenia or something. So selenia probably comes from the salt. Yep, they eat the brine shrimp from the water that contains a pink bacterium. They so much of it that they turn pink. Yeah, I did know that, that the older the penguin it, or uh, flamingo is, like the pinker it is, I think. Younger ones are kind of white still. So after the harvest, the salt goes into giant piles. Here the salt is rinsed with salt water, then dried in preparation for shipment. I was wondering about the rinsing part, so. So if you're getting sea salt on your food, then you, you could be just having germs of the ocean as well, possibly, it sounds like. So, hey, there's that. <laughs> I don't mind it, though. I mean, it tastes good. Salt's all, I mean, you need salt, right? Oh, it's not headed for the table. So this is for roads to de-ice the roads and stuff, right? For maybe maybe salt water system or soft water systems. Okay, yeah. It'll be used to melt ice on North American roads and other commercial applications. Yeah, that's what we do here, guys. We just put a bunch of salt down and it melts the ice. I don't know if they do that in Europe or not. When it's time to leave the island, the salt travels on a conveyor belt over the road. I wonder if that road gets pretty salty. Oh, that yeah, looked like a pirate ship for a second. Oh, wait, it is a ship? It says here it's loaded onto a ship for his journey over the sea. And this music gets me, it's like, it gets so dramatic. Goinform.net, guys, for more information about Bonaire. There you go. That was pretty sweet, so thanks for, uh, Thanks for recommending that, Santiago. It sounds like a fake name. Is that a fake name? Santiago. <laughs> Alvarez. That's a cool name, though. But anyways, all right, you guys have a super fun, awesome day. That was pretty interesting. I will catch you guys in the next one. Hit like, hit subscribe. Take care.